Today, I'm going to make some family-friendly lasagna for you. It is also very cheap. Uh, now, I know there are lots of places that sell lasagna that have nine layers, ten layers, and up. This is literally two layers. It's cheap. I only use two kinds of cheese. Um, I know people use ricotta and cottage cheese, all kinds of cheeses. That's why I think my um, this recipe is so family friendly is because when Anna and Ashley were little, they didn't like anything different. You couldn't have any different kinds of cheeses or it, just any different things like that or uh, they did not like it. So I use two different kinds of cheeses. I keep it simple, but it also keeps the price down. We have a big package of hamburger. This is actually three pounds of hamburger. We have tried it with um, partial so uh, sausage and partial hamburger, and really we just like it with the hamburger. Uh, we have two packages of mozzarella cheese. There are, uh, it, it'll be four cups total. We have our lasagna noodles and uh, two cans of tomato sauce. This is not seasoned garlic. There's nothing in it. It's just plain tomato sauce. I have a eight ounce can and a 15 ounce can, but if you want to buy two 15 ounce cans, that's fine. It won't hurt it. I have Parmesan cheese and I have salt and pepper. Now I have my oven preheating to 425 and the first thing you want to do is get your uh, water boiling for your noodles. So I'm going to do that. So while my water heats up, uh, while I have to wait for it to start boiling, I'm going to go ahead and cook my hamburger because you could wait and use the same pan, but I don't like to wait. I like to try to get like both done, uh, both cooked around the same time. So I am going to go ahead and uh, brown this hamburger and then drain the grease. So I'm gonna put it all in this pan and uh, brown it. Okay, my water is about to start boiling for my lasagna noodles. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out. Um, if you don't have a, a huge pan like this, you can use something smaller. Just know that your noodles are going to stick out at an angle, but once they start to cook, you'll be able to gently push them under the water. You don't want to force them or they'll break. Always cook though, I always cook, an extra noodle just in case you need more. Now I'm using this glass pan, so I usually use um, about um, six noodles. Like I said, it's, it, I make this on the cheek. <laughs> uh, so, and these will spread out and they will get wider. So, I'm going to go ahead and make um, seven because you want to make an extra one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, you want to go ahead and make seven. Make an extra one in case it tears or in case something happens to it. And uh, you can, be, it's gonna be covered up anyway. It's not like anyone's gonna see it. So my water is um, just starting uh, to roll at the bottom and coming to the surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in there. And this is a huge pan. So these noodles have um, no problem going down in there. But I used to have a pan that was uh, smaller and they did stick up and uh, I promise you that's okay. They will, they will make their way down in there as they cook. So these need, uh, they will take a little while to boil and I'm going to continue to cook this hamburger and then I'll be back. As you can see, I drained the grease from my hamburger. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pour both of those cans of tomato sauce directly in the hamburger. I used to, years ago when I first started making this, I would uh, layer the lasagna in the pan, the hamburger and the noodles and the cheese, and I would actually drizzle this over the lasagna and some of it, sometimes some of it would get covered and sometimes there were pieces of hamburger that you could tell didn't have any tomato sauce. So I thought, why in the world am I doing that? 
when you can put it in the pan and uh, get every single piece of hamburger um, covered, coated with tomato sauce. So, you see my uh, noodles are still bubbling away. They're still boiling. So it's okay that this is thick, uh, ready before the noodles because it'll just, uh, it can just sit here and simmer. And you can save those cans to put your grease in if you don't have another container because you don't want to put your grease down the sink. I've said that in other videos before, but some people don't know. You know, if you're new to cooking, you don't know that you're not supposed to um, let that hamburger grease or bacon grease, any kind of grease go down the sink because then uh, it clogs up your pipes. So, you see now every piece of hamburger is coated and that's a lot better than me trying to coat it all once it, it gets uh, to the lasagna pan. So we're gonna let this sit, it's on low. And I'm gonna check on these noodles and see how they're coming along. They'll, um, they change their color uh, once they uh, cook. They get a little bit lighter, in my opinion. Um, they get a little bit lighter color and they become a lot more flexible. So like right now, they're still a little rigid when you try to pull up on them. They will get much more flexible than this. So I'm just gonna let them boil, keep boiling, and uh, we'll check back in with them in just a few minutes. It's been about five minutes, and you see how these noodles are just kind of they're just kind of flopping all over the place. There's really no way that I test these. You know, usually with spaghetti or macaroni, you'll take a, a little bite. But with these, I just go with looks. And when they start to, to look like eels or something in the pan, then I know it's time to drain them. So that's where I'm going to take you now. We're going to go over to the sink. I drain the water from my noodles, and I like to pour cold water over them. And what you want to do is you have to squeegee the water off. Probably cannot see. You have to squeegee the water off like this and then lay them in your pan. And you probably can't see in the pan any longer. But you see how they stretched? They stretched long ways and uh, the width and the length stretched. But the cold water makes them easier to uh, handle so they don't stick to your fingers. Okay, so this is my first layer. And now I'm just going to start, uh, I'm going to put uh, some hamburger, a layer of hamburger, and then a layer of cheese. And you already have your uh, tomato sauce in here, so you don't have to worry with that. Since you're only doing two layers, you know that you can use half of your hamburger mixture on the first layer and then save the other half for the next, next layer. This uh, pan, I slightly greased it with uh, vegetable oil because you don't want your noodles to stick to the bottom. This is my Parmesan cheese. And I just sprinkle it all over. And I'm going to add some uh, salt and pepper to each layer as well. And then have our... There are two bags. If you buy it by the uh, two cup bags of mozzarella cheese, then you know you can use one whole bag for the first layer and the next bag for the second layer. That makes it a little easier than dividing it up. I know they sell it in the four cup bags as well. And if it's cheaper to buy it that way, then, then you should do that. But this is a good way to keep track. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the second layer.
Now this will bake at 425 for about 20 to 25 minutes. I'll let you know how long I left mine in when I pull it out of the oven. Okay, here is the lasagna. It, I actually left it in for half an hour for 30 whole minutes because um, Ashley really likes it when the cheese is um, uh, crispy on top. So I left it in a little bit longer so that uh, she would really like it. And so now I will cut it and put it on the plate and show you how it looks. Here's the lasagna and Kevin's going to try it with me. I'm going to actually get cheese. Well, Ashley likes the cheese a little crispy, so I made sure I left it in the oven extra long, but you don't have to. Yeah, I do too. I like mine a little brown too. It's probably scalding hot. Yeah, the steam is coming off of it. That's why God gave his lips to pucker and blow. Mmm. That's delicious. And like I said, we've tried it before with sausage and hamburger. Mm. I, like, I it like it better. You do too? I like it with hamburger better. Yeah, just the hamburger. Because the sausage, even though we use plain sausage uh, or mild sausage, the sausage, the flavor of the sausage kind of overwhelms I everything else. You couldn't else. taste the tomato sauce or anything. Like no. That. So that is very good. That's delicious. And like I said, um, it's a really cheap way to make lasagna and it's also kid friendly because right. you're not using anything weird. It's just hamburgers, uh, hamburger and noodles and cheese basically. So, and I like, I always add a little extra parmesan because I just like the flavor of it, but I'll spread it on top of mine. It's because right. I like it. And we have the salt and pepper handy and I serve it uh, with breadsticks. And if I were to have company, I would have a small side salad with it. Of course, it's just us, so I'm not worried about a salad. This is, um, this is how we uh, make lasagna, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.